can't see anything. It's too squinty. That helped, but you can't see. Hey! So today I have my biology exam, which was unit two, AQA, and yes, I have no more exams. I'm really sorry if that makes you jealous because you've still got exams, but you know, I don't. So it went kind of, I think, I think it went well. I am so glad stuff on transcription and translation didn't come up because I did not revise that at all. I basically did no revision at all. I got up yesterday really early and decided, right, I'm gonna revise all day. I did one practice paper and then procrastinated the rest of the day. I did nothing. I just played on Bakery Story and watched YouTube videos and read blog posts and crap. I really should have revised. But oh well, I think it went fine without revision. Speaking of Bakery Story, my Fruity Yog Parfait is ready. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm done. So we had loads of random questions. We had a question on Amish people in the American population. That was so random. It was a question on this particular disease? Condition. This condition that you can get from having a faulty allele. The Amish community was set up by 30 Swiss people and one of those Swiss people had this faulty gene and had this condition. I can't remember what it was called. It had an E and an S and a V in it. So you had to talk about the founder effect and how that one person with that one faulty gene influenced quite a lot of people in the Amish community to have this condition. Not that it was their fault, they had just as much right to have kids. And you had to work out how many people were in the Amish community approximately based on the figures you got from how many people had this condition and yeah. I didn't bring a calculator. You're supposed to bring a calculator to a biology exam and I didn't and there were three maths questions. I counted every single one because every single one I spent like 15 minutes on and it was only an hour and 45 minutes so that's like half my time on three maths questions so I did them all in my head and I think I'll probably get the marks for the answers because I got those right but there is so much working out on the paper that there's just too many numbers to actually figure out if I did the right thing so I think the markers are probably going to be like <sighs> anyway I just hope I get some marks there was a question on standard deviation and that was what you really needed a calculator for and I didn't obviously have my calculator so I worked that all out using number grids and those little right angle things that you use to divide stuff and there were loads of decimal points and crap but I got 6.9 and my girlfriend got 6.97 whatever using a calculator so if they let you have one decimal place then I'm gonna be fine and then there was a maths question on percent which took me ages to do and I got 347% because it was about an increase. The big long six mark question that was on how water gets from the epidermis in plants into the xylem and how it moves from up the xylem to the leaves. I just really want my mark now and I have to wait till August and I have to wait till August for all my exams even my drama exam which I did months ago. Oh. Right near the end of the paper there was this really random question on courtship behaviours between snakes. I know fuck all about snakes and courtship behaviour. It was questions about why snakes wanted to mate with snakes that were long. You had to talk about why the male snakes wanted to mate with long female snakes and not small female snakes and why that was a good thing. I don't know. You had to give two reasons why mating with a long partner was a good thing for snakes and I put you produce long snake offspring, which would be a good thing for survival, yes. And I also put that you would produce more eggs because I thought theoretically, if you've got a longer snake, you can fit more eggs in. Right, I'm gonna look it up. Why do snakes like to mate with long snakes? During the mating season, the males mate with several females, slutty snakes. Oh no. Apparently snake sex only takes under an hour. And the male has two sex organs. The hemipenes. Garter snakes have complex systems of pheromonal communication. They can find other snakes by following their pheromone-centered trails. 
Male and female skin pheromones are so different as to be immediately distinguishable. However, male garter snakes sometimes produce both male and female pheromones. During mating season, this ability falls other mates into attempting to mate with them. Yay! Rainbow snakes. Oh, I have no idea. I can't find it. I'm just going to have to ask someone. Like a snake expert? I'll get back to you if I manage to find information on why snakes like to mate with other long snakes. Oh, well, I think it went well. I hope it went well. So, if you have more exams, good luck for them. I hope they go well. Do lots of revision. That'll help. Always helps to know the stuff before you do the exam. It would have helped if I knew about snake copulation. Anyway, good luck for your exams. I hope they go well. If you liked the video, please like the video. Subscribe, it's a massive ego boost. Leave a comment about any exams that you've had or that you're going to have, whether you're doing revision, whether you're procrastinating. Leave a comment if you manage to work out why snakes like to sleep with long snakes and not with short snakes, because that would be, that would just be a load off my mind. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.